Hi, everybody. This is Dr. David Proden. I will be your instructor for educational leadership. 702 Viterbo University, superintendent, current, and legal issues. Three graduates credits. Glad to be working with you here in the fall of 2018. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the class and some expectations. We'll go over it the first day with the syllabus, but right now you've received an email confirming, hey, you're enrolled in the class. Always a good thing. The class dates, uh, the class location, which is Murphy Center, room 418. Just bring up a map of a turbo and you can find it. We'll be meeting three times this fall, September 15th, October 6th, November 3rd, all Saturdays, meeting at eight o'clock in the morning, ending five o'clock at night, right? It starts to get dark out. Um, so you need a textbook for this class. I do have it right over here. I'm gonna hold it up. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. All right. It is upside down. For those of you who can read that way, I can't, but um, law and ethics and educational leadership is going to look like this. Okay. It's um, by author David Stadler. So I do have information in the syllabus, also posted in this email about the book. So we will be referencing the book in particular to give guidance on the case studies that we'll examine during class. So get on to Amazon. If you can find it used somewhere, that's great. Um, I will have the ISBN number, so you're getting the correct version. But uh, that is a book that will be required for class. Also, uh, go in and become familiar with the Wisconsin statutes. You already probably have some statutes that you're pretty well aware of, but go in and, and make sure that you're understanding the Wisconsin statutes, particularly the new statute. Um, what is it? Act 143, I believe, which has to do with school safety. Kind of a update to Act 309 that came out um, maybe about eight years ago. So here's the expectations for the first day of class. And then I'll go over these more in detail. But you're going to see I laid the syllabus out. So there's always a section of what to submit to the instructor before class. So what you need to email to me before class. And then resources and discussion themes, things that we're going to talk about in class, you can become familiar with before you come into class, but also, again, things we're going to cover in class. I do have assignments that you need to complete and bring with you to class. Please bring a copy, like a paper copy here for me. You don't have to give a copy to everybody um, in the class, but just that you do have a paper copy with me. I'm fine if you're using bullet points, um, things like that. You, it, I don't need full APA sites. You are a superintendent. You know, you or you're aspiring to be a superintendent. I just need the core, the meat content of, of what the assignment is. So yeah, don't ask me, do I have to have an inch margin on one side or whatever? Give me something that you would give to your board president if you're trying to make the board president aware of, of some school initiative or something that's gonna be brought up at a board meeting, something like that, where you give me the points that I need to know so um, I'm going to go through then. So we have assignments to complete and bring to class. And then um, activities that will be completed within class. Those are not, nothing you need to bring anything for. I'll have the materials uh, for that. Yes, we'll be doing case studies in class. Again, I will have those assembled. Uh, we'll do some together. We'll break into groups um, and do those as groups. So. That's, I, I always think that's a great way to learn um, is, is to go through and, and do case studies. This is going to be very divergent, folks. I mean, everybody is going to handle this different depending upon the district you're in and the group you're in. So I'm really looking at process. Um, that's, that's what I want to see is that we're thinking through things, understanding our heuristics, our options. Um, so we'll, that we'll, we'll talk about that because that doesn't happen a lot in administration. It's not... Uh, Time there, are, there isn't time for a superintendent to reflect or to be introspective. 
Uh, studies have shown that. So we're going to talk about that, what that also means uh, when you're dealing with legal issues. We'll talk about the use of outside um, school attorneys and things to that effect. But um, again, we'll, we'll go more in detail on that during the first day. And I do have articles that I will be bringing in. Uh, one, actually, the first class, and I'll have a copy for everybody. It's not very long, and we'll take a little bit of time to go through it, but it's called The Right to Select Methodology. I wrote it a few years ago. Um, it re pertains to providing FAPE, and when you have outside providers who want to use your district, use your school, uh, what happens with background checks, liability for use of the facility if somebody slips and falls, supplanting of services, supervision of an outside provider. This is really becoming a hot topic. So um, we're going we're gonna to talk about that during the first class. So let's go through the syllabus that I have in my hands right now. And I am on page three. So this is our first class, September 15th, 2018. Uh, so please be there at 8 o'clock. Um, again, you need to make sure that you're bringing anything um, that we are going to go over in class. Most likely, I will have you talk about your assignment. You, again, you do not need to put together a PowerPoint or anything to that effect. If you want, that's fine, or Prezi or things like that. That's what you want to do, but you don't need to do that. You don't need handouts unless you're saying, here's something specific that, that we use, and I want to make it available to the other students. Right now we have 10 enrolled in class, but maybe you know to be safe, make 12 or 15 handouts, I don't know. Um, but it's not a requirement because we're going to have a lot of discussion in this class. Again, this is going to be different than maybe an early administrative level class because, again, you're going for the superintendency. And we're not going to occupy a lot of time with finessing paperwork. We want to get at the inner workings of the legal structure so you can do your job and do it very effectively. So let's talk about the first day. What I need you to do before you set foot in that classroom is to email me, okay, email me prior to the first day, three current education-related articles for class discussion. And I don't care where you get them. Give me the links and maybe like a sentence of why you want to discuss that, not just a link and then I click on it and I'm, I'm like not really sure why you emailed this to me. Um, but it could be... Here's an article about um, student. Uh, uh, here, here's an article about school uh, police liaisons and a district deciding, you know, not to accept the local police department's liaisons because of whatever or you know something. And everything should have a legal uh, ramification, a legal implication. Maybe it's something that you're going through in your district. It's happening in Wisconsin, or just something that's happening nationally that you want to possibly have for a class discussion. So three articles. So you're giving me the links. And what's going to happen then during class is I'm going to have all of these links compiled and I might ask you, say, you know, you, you had, of your three links, um, I want you to talk about this link. And maybe there'll be two links I want you to talk about, but we'll kind of go around the class. I won't have, have you go and say one link, you know, okay, now go with the next one and let's go with the third one. But um, I want a variety and I want to see if there's redundancy, if I want to, you know, make sure that if we have four or five things that are along the same theme that we definitely address that. Um, but I want you to discuss that. So that might be five minutes, that could be 10 minutes. And again, why this was something that you felt was important to share with me how it impacts you, how it might impact your district. Just maybe why it's on your radar as an administrator. It's like, oh my goodness, here's something I wasn't thinking about. Um, I want to become more aware of it because if it does happen in our district or when I'm a superintendent, I want to be able to respond to this. So I'm really looking for that. Now here, here's, a, here's a great way to do it, little tip. You can go into Google and you can go into Google Alerts and maybe put like um, school legal issues. And every day it will scan for articles that have school legal issues or school lawsuits. I don't, I don't want to make this sound like it's a class about lawsuits because it's not going to be. But maybe, you know, school legal issues. 
and then um, you will receive that in your inbox every day. So uh, that's a great way to to have articles kind of delivered right to you. But you can look more into Google Alerts. I do that for a number of things that are school related. So you can also bring in, um, you know, you, you can cite periodicals, newspapers, things like that, you know, your local newspaper. If there's something that you don't have a link to, you know, you can scan it and send it to me. Um, if it's, again, something that doesn't, doesn't have a link, um, I'm not exactly sure what that would be, but maybe it's something like a flyer that comes out from a parent generated group and, um, you know, of bully prevention or something like that. And, and wants to inform school practices and here they have a flyer that they put out and, um, you're like, Oh, I want to talk about what, what's a, what's a way to respond to this. So scan the flyer, send it to me. But anyway, three current education related articles, links before that first class. That's going to be a theme. We're going to do that second and third class too, but before that first class. Before the first class also, go in, check out uh, WASDA, um, and then also the Wisconsin Association of School Boards, uh, WASBO, the business uh, officials, and the different organizations that DPI, so forth, that, that support you in your job. And if there's other organizations, you know, please note those. We can talk about those and say, you know, here's an excellent resource, but it wasn't on your list, David. So maybe I want to share it with other people. That's fine. But a lot of times people don't even know the resources. They don't even know the depth of the DPI resources. So become familiar with those. Even the outreach resources for from the Wisconsin School for the Blind and Wisconsin School for the Deaf what that might mean for your provision of FAPE and IDEA, um, meeting the Individuals with Disability Education Act for students who might be blind or might have hearing impairments. So bring this to the first class, your assignment. Prepare a two to four page paper that describes services that you have utilized in professional organizations you presently are a member of, okay? Further outline some of the services offered by WASDA, and the WASB that you may find particularly useful in your role as a superintendent. The paper may be assembled in an outline format. Um, you will be asked, okay, in this case, to bring one print copy to the instructor at the start of class. So I have a copy. And then, of course, I'm going to ask you to talk about it and share why you what are the resources in these organizations that you find particularly helpful? What do you wish that they offered? What did they used to offer that they don't offer anymore? Um, wh where do you see yourself down the road in, in using these, these resources, expanding? Is it a time when you're not going to be using these resources? Has your board had a negative experience, a previous superintendent? I don't know. Let's talk about it. So... That is it in a nutshell. Um, come prepared, and we will have some case studies that we'll be going over. Again, I'll talk over um, talk about the syllabus. Uh, please, you'll have your electronic copy. I will make a print copy. Why? Because I'm a nice person, okay? I'm going to bring a print copy to class to you, um, for you, and in case anything changes, any updates in it. But, again, here's what you need to do. Get the book. Get the book have that before class, get me the three links to um, legal articles, legal things that, that are on your radar right now. So we can talk about those and then that two to four page paper, bring that with you to class. You can give it to me and be prepared to talk about it and how you're using your professional organization. So I'm really looking forward to it. Again, this is going to, to be a class where we're gonna focus a lot on the process of being a superintendent and how to negotiate the, the legal landscape. Um, and I, I think what's going to be very enlightening um, to explore a lot of the different legal issues that are going on right now and understanding not only how you will immediately respond to some of those things, and again, it's divergent, you'll have different ways, but how you'll interact with your board and help your board and how you'll interact with your legal counsel. Um, and then also with your professional cabinet, your principals, your assistant principals. 
going to have, again, some really interesting case studies. And, and these are going to be all authentic things, mostly things that have happened in Wisconsin um, that we're going to work through. I, I probably will remove some of the identifying information. Uh, but again, it's it's a class where we're going to, to learn. Um, we're going to be able to work from each other, from our experiences. Uh, I do have experience personally as an expert witness in different states with legal matters, including school superintendents. Be able to share my insight on that once we get into class a little bit. Things that are going to definitely help you out to understand how that perspective of working as a superintendent and negotiating, navigating with the realm of, of lawyers um, in possible litigation, how to best position yourself also. But again, I mean, we're not going to talk a whole lot about that in class. We're going to be talking about the process, looking at reflection, introspection, resources. We're going to have a great time, everybody. Again, my name is David. Please feel free to contact me. Um, the contact information given on the syllabus. Uh, the best way is probably by phone, or you can send me an email. If I don't read the email um, right away, if it's something you need a response, you can also text me and say, uh, hey, David sent you an email. And also, if you could please say, I'm in your 702 class. <laughs> I teach some different classes and just want to make sure until I get to meet you face to face. And I will be sure to respond to you. If for some reason you are unable to make the class, it's very important that you do make the classes because we do have three classes, three face-to-face. -face. Uh, missing a, a class would be put a lot of a lot of strain um, in trying to have things made up. But um, please let me know in advance. So um, you know the night before or that you know morning a text or a, a phone call if there would be some reason you wouldn't be at that first class. So again, we'll talk more about the syllabus. Any questions, let me know. Looking forward to 702 this fall with you at Viterbo University. Again, I'm Dr. David Proden. have my PhD in Educational Leadership and Policy Analysis from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. and Really, really looking forward to working with you. Been with Viterbo 15 years, actually 16 folks. 16. It's 2018. <laughs> Pretty soon, and oh my goodness, I don't know. The years go by, but I love uh, being with the Turbo and love being a member of the Educational Leadership Program. Thank you. See you in a couple weeks.